at 6, your house, your rules. The top lawyer for the state of Texas says the city of Austin can't tell you what to do with your property, and that includes renting it out for days or weeks at a time. The city won the first round of this year's-long battle. Now the state wants a rematch in the Court of Appeals. As KXAN's Phil Prazen explains, this case could go to the Supreme Court of Texas by the end of the year. I like to provide a doormat to Austin mm -hmm. and say, hey, you know, this is a great place to explore our fine city that I grew up in. Jay Reynolds rents out this South Austin home month to month. He says his renters are families on vacation, retirees during the winter, and people just moving to town. Yeah, I have more business like that than, than, you know, these mythical party houses that everybody thinks that every short-term rental is. The problem is he doesn't live there. The city is phasing out exemptions, so in 2022, he'll have to stop. It's actually about stranger danger. It's this whole idea that there's a boogeyman that could be there or could not be there. Attorney General Ken Paxton and the conservative think tank Texas Public Policy Foundation teamed up saying Austin is violating the state constitution, limiting the number of people who can be outside and requiring a curfew just makes bad worse, they say. But Councilman Pio Renteria says the appeal is another example of outsiders telling the city what to do. I see that he's supporting investors, especially investors from out of town. He pushed for the rules to stop commercial business from pushing longtime neighbors out. Zoning laws, he says, allow for reasonable limits on property rights, and you can still rent out your home if you live there. Well, we hope that the courts will rule in our favor, you know, because if they don't, I, I, I see a disaster coming. You know, especially for all the, the central core houses. There are just under 2,000 short-term rentals in the city now, and scrapping the rules could bring many more. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Lawyers from the Texas Public Policy Foundation expect a hearing and ruling from the State Court of Appeals by the fall. The outcome of this case could affect other cities. City of Kyle is debating whether to regulate short-term rentals. A public hearing is scheduled next month. Last July, the city of San Marcos took steps to regulate short-term rentals. Since then, eight property owners applied for and received permits. Online, though, we found hundreds of rentals listed on home-sharing websites like HomeAway and Airbnb.